Skill-wise, this is one of the most high-level fights the UFC can produce right now. Now, Josh, this is exciting, isn't it? The return of Henry Cejudo. Yeah, man, the, the supposedly the greatest combat athlete uh, coming back and returning after three years layoff and, you know, fighting for the belt straight away. It's crazy. Rob, are you a fan of Henry Cejudo's? You know, I've got to say, I wasn't at the beginning, OK? It was just... Actually, no. OK, so I, hold back. Rewind. I was <laughs> at the beginning, the very beginning, then I strayed away because he got a bit out there. <laughs> you know, the, he just really doubled down on cringe. Lent and, into the king which of is, cringe. Which is fine because that became his thing, you know. I, I don't fault him for that as well. But that's just, you know, I don't like that episode. But then, but then I've made a full 360 to where I like him more than ever, I think. Even better than the first time I liked him. I just think, I don't know, his, his skill set, the way he evolved in the game, I think... He had the best evolution in the game to date. Like, if you saw that first Demetrius fight and the way he evolved to that, to that second one, it was just, I don't know, it's, it's unbelievable. The way he just came up through the ranks, the way he was fighting when he took his step out, it was, it was special. I, I do believe it, it's something we haven't seen in the game before. And I do believe he has some of the highest skill sets and one of the highest uh, IQ, fight IQs in the game. Yeah, 100% agree with you. I think, uh, yeah, from his wrestling base, obviously becoming an Olympic gold medalist, and then for him to come out and, you know, start striking with a karate style, and yeah, just, it, like you said, he just went and did a full 360, and he's just gone, yeah, like one of the best evolutions to date. You know what um, I think is one of the big, his strongest value? It's not easy to get a, a medal in the Olympics, <laughs> like in wrestling, in wrestling. Let alone gold. Wrestling. Yeah takes you to a place and like as we've wrestled and we know how hard it is like it takes you to a place that is not fun and if he's taken and you can see he has taken that approach that dedication that consistency in wrestling to other disciplines which is why it's got to attribute to his rapid growth in the game that wrestling base how does that match up against Aljamain Sterling well it's not I think it nullifies a lot of the scrambles. I think, I think a lot of the scrambles that Aljamain comes off best in, like what we've seen in his previous fights, I think maybe, maybe not so with, with Cejudo, just because of how good he is at the scramble and how quick and, and, and dexterous he is at, at moving. Uh, but I don't think we're going to see a super... Uh, that's not the most dangerous part about Cejudo. It's the fact that he mixes it in so well. Yeah. He, he can strike as one of the best strikers in the game, and then all of a sudden he's at your legs. And it, it's not like a... He's not throwing a takedown out there and hoping for the best. He's, like, there's real risk there. There's technique behind it. He's not blowing out his arms. He's not gassing himself doing it. And then if it's not on, he just pops back up and he's, he's feeding you again. It is... He is a nightmare. I've got to say he's a nightmare and he's quick and he's got cardio for days. Man, I'm just excited to see both these guys grapple with each other. It might just become a, a, a straight stand-up fight, you know, them two kind of being wary with each other's grappling, and, yeah, it just becomes a straight-up war on the feet. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's, in my opinion, I think that's Aljamain's best spot, is just using that range. And he is a very good striker. I know he's been really working his grappling in the last few fights, but he's a really, really good striker. He's struck with the best of them. So I think utilising that range, that reach, and just, just keeping him at bay, you know, not engaging in those, those box wrestles mm. is, is his best bet. But I don't know, we'll see what, like I said, suda has got crazy fight IQ. I, I am very interested to see how he comes in and what his approach is. So you mates with Aljamain now, we're about to hear from him in just a moment. <laughs> Will that interview be a little awkward? <laughs> no, no. I, and that's what I... I, I really do like his personality for that reason. Yeah. It's because he saw me underestimate him, called me out on it after he won, <laughs> you know, won in really good fashion. Mm. And I, I like that. That is, that is a healthy way to have banter in the sport. Mm. And, and I am not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. He's, and he's com continued to impress me every single fight. So I, I'm very, very interested and, and curious to see how this next one goes.